The first stretch and exercise that we are going to perform is going to be called an active range of motion hip and knee flexion from the supine position. What you're going to do starting is lay on your back with your legs straight, low back in a natural position. You're going to raise your left leg off of the floor or table. You're going to bring your knee up to your chest and then you're going to put it back into the starting position, not letting it touch the table or floor, and then repeat. Once you're done doing those for about one minute, if you can't do it for one minute, you can split it into 30 seconds, and then you can switch and do the other leg. The next stretch that we are going to do is called lower trunk rotations. So you're going to start with feet flat on table, knees bent, feet and knees together, and then you are going to rotate your knees from your left side to your right side. Nice and slow until you feel a stretch. You're going to want to do these maybe one to four repetitions twice a day and hold for about 10 to 15 seconds. The next stretch that we are going to do is going to be a hip and knee figure four which will help you stretch your piriformis muscle. So you're gonna start laying on your back with your knees bent, move left ankle over right knee, Gently lift right knee up towards chest until stretch is felt. Once stretch is felt, hold for 15 seconds with a 30 second rest in between, and then you can switch and repeat on both sides. This next active range of motion exercise is called bird dog. We, what you're going to do for this exercise is you're going to begin on hands and knees, kind of in a tabletop form. You're going to extend your right leg while lifting with the opposite arm. You're going to hold for about five seconds, then you're going to switch to the other side. While doing this, you want to make sure that you are maintaining a neutral spine and do not twist. And for more advanced, you will be able to use ankle or wrist weights. And then also, for those of you that have Thero Ball, you can use that to stabilize you underneath while doing the bird dog. It also helps promote neutral spine position. The last stretch that we are going to go over today is going to be hamstring stretch. So what I like to use is a belt, a dog leash, a rope, anything with a loop on the end of it. What you can do is you can that loop around your foot. You're going to keep your leg nice and straight. You're going to go ahead and lift your leg up and you can help pull on that belt to help you get an, a little bit of extra stretch out of the hamstring stretch. Now once you feel the, the stretch in the back of your quad, in the back of your thigh, you want to hold there for about 30 seconds then you can switch to the other side and make sure you rest for 30 seconds in between.